hello viewers i welcome you all from hld of tech channel and today we are going to talk about uh, uh, field security profiles field security profile is a very important feature that is used in uh, by commonly uh, many developers and the purpose of uh, field security profile is to define uh, separate permissions or you can say uh, you can define unique permissions on a particular field within an entity for example this is an entity we created it in our previous videos uh, this entity has uh, seven fields among which product product id <coughs> category warranty dimensions unit and sale prices are the fields or we can say they are the attributes so uh, i have uh, if you notice I have changed the color of the sale price it means that if I access if I grant access uh, of this entity to a, a team that is production team let's say uh, now I want that uh, some distinct users of uh, my production team can uh, view the sale price of this product whereas uh, the rest of the user or some particular users may not see the sale price of this uh, entity Okay, so these are the fields among these fields. I have uh, grant access of uh, This whole entity to a team But within a team I want that there may be some separate field level uh, security or access for the users on a particular attribute or a field for that purpose we use uh, the, this feature of uh, dynamic CRM that is field security profiles this feature can be used for in many ways it can be used whether you want that uh, uh, only one particular member can update this field okay for example I am giving you the uh, some scenarios so that you may have the better understanding after that we will go to the practical demonstration so for some seconds just listen that uh, for example uh, I have uh, an entity of the product in which the product is defined by a production team okay whenever a product is produced by the production team they define all the attributes of the product within an entity so after that there come a responsibility of uh, uh, let's say the user of uh, who belongs to the finance team or the team that defines the sale price of that product so I want that the production team can only update these fields that are in blue color but for particular field that is uh, the sales price that is related to finance one particular user can update it or in uh, let me uh, define another scenario for example I want that there is one team in which there are some users that are the part of the team I want that some of the users may have access to uh, this uh, entity uh, attributes that are in blue color okay I want that some users of this production team can see the sales price whereas some particular users may not see the sale price okay for that purpose we can also use this field security profile so there may be many scenarios in which you can use the field security profile that is we can say that you can define distinct uh, permissions at field level or the attribute level this was the shortcoming or we can say that this is the shortcoming uh, that is in Microsoft SharePoint that you uh, while creating custom lists you cannot define or declare the uh, distinct permissions uh, within one entity and uh, for that purpose third party solutions are used in SharePoint for doing so but in dynamic sense it's a complete ERP package of uh, Microsoft so <clears throat> in that uh, we can use the field level uh, secure field security pro now if we go into the practical part of this demonstration this is uh, an entity 
that we defined here uh, with these attributes we created it here that was the product name product id category warranty dimension unit and after unit there was a sales price so right now since i am logging uh, with uh, admin rights as an administrator i can see all of these privileges that is all the attributes can be seen here okay now if i go and want to edit it i can edit it okay i can also uh, delete it as well because i am an admin <clears throat> but for creating a field security profile what i need to do first of all i will go into security by navigating to settings and in settings i will go into field security profile here as a best, best practice i will create a new field security profile i will name it from a better understanding product management uh, rights uh, product management hide rights hide sale price okay first of all we are going to uh, create a scenario in which we are going to hide the sales price from uh, particular users so i am going to save it after saving it i will go into users and i am going to add a user i am going to add this user here so this user has been added successfully here i am going to uh, define one more thing uh, that normally creates some misconfusions for some users uh, or ad administrators of dynamics here this user setting is overriding the settings of the team in which it is, it is defined for example in a team uh, that is going to access that entity if this user is a member of that team and that team is given the read rights read access of the entity but here if i hide particular field or give editing rights to a particular field it will override the settings that is defined in the team for that particular user i will show you here okay now if i uh, I, I have defined the user here and in field permissions you can see that there are some fields that are available okay the field that i want is the field uh, if i go into settings customizations customize the system and if i go into that particular entity that uh, we are going to uh, deal with here you can see that that is the product detail entity in which uh, i want to talk about and in that particular entity i am going to go into the fields here this is the field uh, that is new underscore sales price whose display name is sales price okay i go here and if i go into custom module and product details here you can see that uh, this is the entity we are talking about that was the sales price and same was defined here okay we are going to deal with this particular attribute so what i'm going to do this is the field or attribute for which i am going to enable the field security profile for enabling the field security profile i have to check this button of field security uh, profile as enable and then i will save it after saving it i will publish all customization to take the effects okay after that if i go again into uh, the place where we were talking about that field security profile that is product management height sales price you can change your naming convention you can define your naming convention as per your convenience as per your organization standards so now in field pro, uh, permissions here you can notice that the field that we have just enabled uh, the field security profile is now visible here okay that uh, clarifies one more thing that only those field, uh, fields that have the option of field security profile enable are shown here okay let me repeat it again the list of all those uh, attributes or fields 
whose field security profile is enabled are uh, can be shown here or are shown here okay so i'm going to edit this one and i'm going to say no i don't want to allow this user to read it or neither i want him to uh, update it or nor create it okay so i'm going to click okay after that i'm going to click save and close and now uh, i'm going into i will log in to this field security uh, dynamics module through that user whom i have given the access the access is uh, let me verify the user the user is uh, r01 user1 okay fine so i'm going to log in to uh, crm through that user to verify whether the effects have taken place or not okay i have logged in successfully and after going into product details if i go here you here you can see that the sales price is not visible let me further verify it by opening into the view form wow that's great it's showing you the indication that the sales price has been locked for you and you cannot uh, uh, update or uh, see the data because as a field security profile we have uh, defined the permissions of neither read neither update neither create for that particular users it also clarifies that this user was the member of the team who's who was given the access to read the <clears throat> whole entity but this particular setting of the user has overridden that settings of the team okay so field security profile settings always override the settings of the user of which uh, it belongs to uh, of the team of which it belongs to okay let me uh, do one more thing i am going to create a new security profile product management editing okay i want that some particular users can update uh, this field of uh, the sales price okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to define one more field security profile in which i'm going to define the user and for that purpose i'm going to clarify r1 user 2 okay that was the user 1 whom we granted the access of hide and now i'm going for the r1 user 2 field permissions if i go into the field permissions i uh, double click it and i access it to uh, yes he can create it he can update it and he can read as well okay if the user can read he can update he can update if you give the access of no then it's difficult that you can update it okay now i'm going to click ok and i'm going to click save after that uh, log into that user again to verify r01 user 2 <clears throat> if i go into product details here you can see that uh, the sales price is visible and if i click any of this value here you can see that he can note update it he can he can update it okay <clears throat> he can also change it uh, as per his convenience but if i go again into settings security field security profile and editing profile and if i change the field permissions of that to uh, read only allow update no allow create now okay now if i verify it here you can see that after uh, updating i cannot change the value i can only read the value okay <clears throat> then uh, other fields are editable because i have given uh, this team uh, who uh, through that security role the editing permissions but i cannot update this particular field due to the 
field security restrictions. Similarly, uh, as we have seen that uh, the previous user, R01 user 1, he cannot see the value. But this user, uh, regardless that both of the users are from the same team, this user has the different rights at this particular field uh, that is read only. Okay. So, in this way, you can define the field security profiles to enable field level access for different teams or users. Okay. If you have any confusion regarding this uh, important topic, uh, please leave it in the comment box so that I may help you out. I thank you all for watching this video.